SL series, making, living in 3D in Photoshop CS5. My name is Allison Mo, and uh, we're going to start out with a fairly complex piece of clothing that I've created. Uh, as you can see, there's lots and lots of uh, conflicting scenes uh, that you'll see. I've uh, pulled up SLCP for you. And uh, when I turn to the side, you can right away see exactly how exacerbated it looks when it's on a 3D model. Okay, I'm going to lower that down and uh, use Photoshop for you. There's my original image. It looks okay in there, but uh, yeah, as you can see, the shading and all that doesn't quite line up right. Uh, here's my 3D model. It's a 3D model by Robin Wick. Uh, She's uh, done a lot to uh, give to the Second Life, uh, Second Life community. All right, I've opened it up and I've, uh, you know, I'm just adjusting it and positioning it so I can uh, freely edit it, edit the uh, shirt that I'm working with. All right, uh, when you right click, when you right click on the diffuse right there, there's these little buttons. One is open file. That's what you saw. It was the template that originally came on this. Uh, what I just did there was I loaded a file. I loaded this file particularly. And I'm going to zoom in and uh, get a position where I need it to be so I can uh, work within my frame. Right here I'm actually changing the lighting so I can see a little better. Uh, because this is all under the arm kind of stuff. And, uh, Photoshop typically doesn't think that you really need to see under your arm, uh, but I kind of do. <laughs> Alright, uh, now you can see just how bad the seams are when you get real close. So what I did here, because uh, Photoshop treats pretty much everything that it that's uh, being worked with in it as a layer, this is just another layer. You can do pretty much anything you want. You can draw directly on it. Uh, right here I'm using the smudge brush to uh, get rid of some of these bad parts and uh, pull the shading and lighting over the scene to kind of smooth it out a little bit. And I'm going to keep doing this for a while. It takes a minute. <laughs> um, one thing that I did observe when I uh, began working with this 3D model and such is that it's extremely hard, I mean exorbitantly so, to uh, work with on a slow PC, which I do have. Um, another thing that I noticed is uh, you can't work with layers. If there is a way to work with layers, that would be awesome. I have yet to figure out if there is a way. If anyone knows a way, it would be awesome to let me know. Um, when I uh, make my brush bigger, it really, really slows down my PC. So excuse the slow frame right here. But it uh, can't really be helped with me anyway. Alright, uh, we're almost done with this side. I'm not going to do both sides for time's sake. I did that before on another image the same image, but uh, went a little bit more in depth with it, did both sides, and uh, smoothed things out a little bit in my own way. Alright, and uh, from here, we are going to uh, save this image. How you save this image, uh, basically, you, uh, <laughs> uh, you go back to the uh, my mind's drawing a blank here, sorry guys. Uh, you go back to the uh, material layer that you're working on. In this case, it would be the upper body. And uh, you do the right click again, okay? And uh, you're going to do the open image again. Yeah. And uh, after you do the open image, it's going to pop open a new image for you. And this is your modified image. Now here I'm doing uh, safer web and devices, which will let me s 
save this as a PNG and I'm uh, making sure transparency is clicked. I have it at uh, PNG 24, I do believe. And I got it saved. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go back down to SLCP to show you exactly what this does. Okay. Alright. Now you can see that that nice uh, straight line is no longer there. You can't really tell. And uh, here's the full version that I did for you guys. You know, nice clean, no lines on the sides. Uh, pretty much everything lines up. And uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.